Hey there friends, I'm back to do another video about VCV Rack. And in this particular video, I want to talk about granular synthesis and the various modules that I have and like to use that use granular synthesis in some way. I've got a basic beat going here using the proc modules. Let's have a listen to that. Um, I really like the proc modules. Uh, they are paid modules, but I think that they sound really excellent. Um, and to me, they sound a bit like the machine drum, the electron machine drum, which is a sound I really like. Uh, I actually own the machine drum, so it's a sound I'm quite familiar with. And it's nice to have these modules um, as kind of like a digital version of the machine drum even though they're not identical and it's certainly not an emulation of the machine drum but it's just kind of evocative of the machine drum so today i want to look at these modules from path set and i also have a few extra modules down here which are more sort of granular effects and do slightly different things but they're all granular plugins or modules i should say let's zoom in a bit so from path set, we've got the sifter, we've got the cheese grater, and we've got the spork. And I have here the expansion modules, but I've just got them bypassed at the moment. So we're gonna start with sifter. Just gonna unmute that and unmute sifter. Let's bring the volume up a bit. And let's play with some knobs. So as you can hear, you can do some wild things with this module. So I'm just gonna mute this again. So the thing about it is, which kind of makes it interesting and distinct from these other two modules, is that it's also a mixer, a four channel mixer. mixer. So you can feed in four different signals and you can modulate the inputs as you normally can with a mixer in Eurorack or VCV rack. And all of these inputs can be manipulated by the granular engine. And to be honest, I haven't really used it in that way. I kind of tend to just send a signal in and mess around with it. But you really don't have to do very much to get incredible results. And of course, like as you were just hearing it then, that's like a fully wet signal. But of course, we can do a number of things uh, with modulation and various other things to adjust when it's coming in, when it's affecting the signal, and you can get some really glitchy sounds with it. So that's Sifter. It does have this expansion module, which I will just unbypass. It just gives you more modulation options, modulating the left and right and the stereo width. It's just more ex expanded inputs. All right, so let's move along to the cheese grater and I'll just unmute that and you don't hear anything. And that's because you need to sample the signal. So as you can see, you got a signal coming in, but we haven't sampled it. So I have to hold down this button and the amount of time 
that it will sample as, as long as I hold it for. So I could just do a quick touch and then it will just loop. But let's get a longer sample by holding it down. So the cheese grater is more of a sampler with a granular engine attached. Um, I find it to be quite useful when you're triggering the sample. Um, so I could have this beat playing. Let's just bring this down a bit. I could have this beat playing and I could, with the input, just like using I could use this gate sequencer or another gate sequencer to send it a signal. Like if I just do that right now with, uh, what if I did it with the kick? Bring that down. And I think the thing is, crazy sounds um, but I guess like because these are just standard length gates you might want like a module to extend the length of the gate to your liking um, or use some other gate tool to get what you want Hold it down for quite a bit. But if you sample a signal in, like this, it's completely transformed the signal. This is like a new rhythm now. I could sample that again, like resample it, and use that as a beat. It's very glitchy. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. It's kind of got a swing to it, almost. So if I unbypass this expansion module, it's just the same, again, really, you have more options. the functionality and gives you more modulation inputs as well and as you can see you've got a, a sync here so we could sync this to the clock So lots of applications. It's just like a sound design playground. 
or like a sound mangling playground, whichever you prefer. Let's just mute this. So that's a really cool module. Spork is the next one we're going to look at. Uh, I really like this module. It's extremely simple, uh, which I guess is partly what I like about it. I'm just going to move that across because these other ones have a little bit more complexity to them or just a few more options, I think. This one's kind of just like a bit of a set and forget. It's just basic. So let's have a listen. <laughs> So there are various different modes, six actually. Um, we've got tines at the moment. And you've only really got these two controls, the grain size and the grain overlap. You've got these mod A and mod B controls, which I'm actually not 100% sure what they do. They definitely alter the sound, but I'm not sure what they're doing. I haven't read the manual, so here we are. But there are other modes. So we've got signs, we've got stutter. We've got Buzz. Absolutely insane. Let's move on to skip. Which I'm sure you can hear. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can hear that like it's the stereo field, especially if you're wearing headphones, you can really hear how skip just widens the signal significantly. Finally, we've got Scatter, which also widens the stereo field quite significantly. So, I think you can hear that this is just stupid really like it's just an insane amount of noise and it can be quite effective in a sound design or if you're trying to get like a glitchy moment in a drum beat or something like that I'm just gonna unbypass this and if I bring it over so what we got here is the expansion basically just gives you access to all of the modes at once and you can bring them in at different volumes via these knobs.
I must stop that. Get very carried away just playing with these knobs. So really great module. The expansion sort of just, again, gives you more options. It's nice to mix and match uh, these different algorithms, I guess. In playing with, with it just then, I think that these mods are just LFOs, I think, that modulate each of these parameters. And of course, you can modulate them however you like with these inputs. With So you can send it random signals or another LFO or whatever you like. And of course, here you can modulate the modulation. So lots of options. I really just love these three modules. They are excellent, like top-notch modules. Um, they are paid modules, but I simply do not regret buying them at all. Really great stuff. And just as a side note, there's a few other modules here that I would like to shout out. Uh, we've got the press duck here which if I unmute the drum beat, it's a mixer, but it's got this really incredible saturation compression. Which if I bring that in, it just drives the signal and the feedback does it even more. Which is just awesome. It just sounds great. Um, you can sidechain as well with this input here. I'm not doing that right now, but that's a cool feature. Um, and also these Venom modules, which are pretty new. They are just patch bays, really. So this signal is going into all of these. Um, and it's coming out here. So just to create a slightly neater session. Anyway, um, got a few other modules down the bottom here that I want to look at. So we've got this grain effects module from Vox Glitch. Vox Glitch makes a bunch of granular, mod granular modules actually, but this one takes audio in. The other ones are kind of more samplers. You have to load in an audio file. So let's unmute it. get some really crazy effects. Uh, quite different actually from these other granular modules up here from part set. Pretty distinct sound I would say. Almost ends up sounding like a flanger or something at, at times. So it's pretty cool. I don't like it as much because it's just kind of a less granular sound to me. Um, or it's less glitchy, I guess. It's more just kind of like, like I said, it does sound a bit like a flanger. But the way the signal gets driven through it, uh, it's almost like a distortion module as well.
playing with the pitch is awesome. So that's the fun module, but let's move on. So over here, let's mute this and unmute this. Over here we have, I'll just get rid of that mix. Um, we have the supercell, which, and I have these two modules next to each other because they are both essentially the same module. Um, this is called clouds. Well, it's called the texture synthesis. It's called the texture synthesizer here, but it is a emulation of clouds by mutable instruments. Um, it's more than an emulation. It's like a direct port, as far as I know, using the same code. Because mutable instruments um, released all of their code because I think they shut down. Uh, all of their modules, all of the, most of them, I think, are available in VCV Rack. And there are a few different ports of different, um, different mutable instruments modules, including uh, Platts and others. But anyway, Supercell is kind of like a, a different emulation than these more semi-official versions. Um, and what differentiates it is these knobs down the bottom here, which when, like they're just modulation attenuators, but if you have nothing plugged in, they uh, modulate the respective signal with a random signal. So anyway, let's just, let's just listen to what it sounds like. First, I have to bring the density up, otherwise it just sounds like nothing has happened. So what's unique about this, other than that it's a great granular module, is that it's it's also a reverb. Let's just bring the mix all the way up. So it sounds really awesome, um, just on its own without the reverb. And honestly, if we just get rid of all of the granular stuff and just turn the reverb on, it's an awesome reverb as well. I have to bring the mix. Like it just sounds great. So. Um, I've got this last module here, which like I said, is the same as this one. So I'll, I'll quickly use it just to sort of show you because they, they do sound slightly different, I think, but not dramatically. Anyway, let's listen. All right. So it's, it's less user friendly, I would say. Um, So that's the dry wet. You gotta flick through these knobs to get the different. Um... Anyway, let's uh, bring the density up. Thank you. 
So, I mean, it's very similar. Um, and we also have the reverb. So that's all cool. But I just wanted to demonstrate that this one, if I move around these knobs, let's just, uh, let's just play around with them a bit. Uh, do a bit of this. Get this up there and then there. Change the pitch around. Let's just, let's just mess around with all of them, eh? Why not? And that's going to randomly modulate all of these parameters. So let's listen. So that's just like pretty handy, I would say, to have it just built into the module. Um, and you've got a lot of um, modulation options compared to over here. You do have a number of modulation options, but it's just, this is expanded. And I like that. Anyway, so that's kind of all I wanted to look at today is just granular modules. There are others, but these are kind of the ones that I use and the ones that I'm most familiar with. Like I said, Vox Glitch does have some other ones which do sound really good, but they require using a, a WAV file with them. And considering I was using this beat as an input, I didn't really feel like demonstrating it today, maybe another time. Everything today has also been going through the new compressor module from VCV, which is really excellent. Anyway, that's kind of all I want to talk about. Yeah, comment what you think, uh, what your favorite modules are, granular or otherwise. Um, and just, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe, all of those fun things. All right, catch you later.